Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to show you top 18 tips and tricks for your basic calculator. So guys, the first tip is about how to turn off this calculator. So guys, you can see over here, there is no off button available. So what we have to do, we have to press this disk button and this correct button together. Okay, so first we press this disk then press correct and then leave the disk and then leave the correct button. So this is how you can turn off this calculator. The next tip is about disk button. So guys, for example, I uh, write uh, some amount over here. Okay, so you can see the commas are on the top. Okay, so these commas are on the top. But if you want this comma on the bottom side, you can use this disk button to change its position. So what I will do is I press and hold this disk button, press and hold it like this. Okay, so now you can see the commas are on top. Now I want to uh, bring them down. So I press this check forward button. Okay, so you can see it changes into dots. Okay, again I press, you can see it changes into comma and it is now on the downside. So now what I will do, I press this disk button two times. One, two. So now it is set to down. So for example, if I type anything over here, so you can see the commas are on the downside. Okay, so you can see over here. So you can change them back to the top position by using the same method uh, with the disk button. The next tip is about this recheck button. Okay, so guys, we use this recheck button uh, to check our previous calculation. So for example, I uh, do a calculation 2 plus 2 plus 5. Okay, and then I press plus. Okay, now I want to uh, recheck my calculation. So how I will do, so I press this recheck button. Okay, and then again, I repeat the same step. 2 plus 2 plus and instead of 5, for example, uh, by mistake, I put 8. Okay, okay, and then I press plus. So you can see, you heard this uh, sound. It means that I made a wrong calculation i made a wrong step so it is asking me to recheck so this is how you can use the recheck button the next tip is about this auto review button so guys we use this auto review button uh, to review our steps in our calculation so for example i made a calculation 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 okay and then I add plus okay now I want to review my steps okay what I will do okay I will go back to 0 and then I press this auto review button okay so I press this auto review button and it start repeating the, sub, uh, the steps so you can see over here okay so again I will do I will show you so 2 5 then I add 8 then I add 3 then I add 6 then I add 9 so everything is correct so I can review my steps in my calculation so auto review button is really useful the next tip is about this correct button so guys we use this correct button together with check forward and check back button I will show you how does it work so we use this correct button uh, to make correction in our steps for example I make a calculation 4 plus 5 plus 6 okay and then I again press plus now I want to check my steps in the calculation I press this check forward button okay so first I press 4 so it is showing 4 then I press 5 okay okay and then I press 6 okay then I again move to 4 so for example I move forward and add 5 I want to correct it I want to change this number so I press this correct button and instead of 5 for example I want to add 8 here instead of 5 so I press 8 okay and then again I press correct 
so now everything is corrected and then if I again check it move to 6 and then again it start from the beginning which is 4 then 8 so now you can see instead of 5 it is now showing 8 because I correct it and then again 6 so this is how you can uh, change you can make a correction in your calculation by using this correct button and check forward button the next tip is about this text plus button so guys we use this button to calculate our total amount after the text first I will show you so if I press this text plus button it is showing over here the tax rate is 10% okay now for example I enter an amount 3800 and I want to know what will be the total amount after the tax so simply I just press this tax plus button and it will show me the total amount after the tax so it is now 4180 now if you want to know how much is the tax amount okay so you just press it again so now it is showing you 380 which means this is the tax amount okay the next tip is also about this tax plus button how you can change this tax rate so for example if I press it it is showing over here 10 percent but if you want to change it you can also change it so what you have to do uh, you have to press this on button okay and then you have to press this percentage button for four seconds okay so we keep pressing it for four seconds so one two three four now you can see over here it is showing set percent 10 now you can change it to any percentage for example I want to change it to 15 okay so I press here one five and then I press this percentage button only one time so I press it one time now this tax rate has been set to 15 percent so if I press this on and again I press this text plus button so now you can see over here it is now set to 15% now you can calculate any amount with this text percentage. The next tip is about this text minus button so guys we use it to deduct the text amount from the total value for example we press here 4500 and we want to deduct the tax amount and we want to see how much after the tax deduction so simply we press this tax minus okay so now here it is showing 3913.04 so this amount is after the tax deduction and if you press it one more time it will show you the text amount that is deducted so 586.95 is the text amount that is deducted so this is how we use this text minus button so guys uh, the next tip is about this percentage button so we use it to find the percentage of any number so for example we want to know what is the 30% of 4000 okay so we simply multiply it with 30 and then we can press this percentage button so here it will uh, show us the answer which is 1200 so 1200 is the 30 percent of 4000 so this is how we can use this percentage button the next tip is about this square root symbol so guys we use uh, this button to find out the square root of different numbers so for example we want to find out what will be the square root of 64 okay so simply we press this square root button and it will give us the answer so 8 is the answer so this is how you can calculate square root of any number the next tip is about this MU button so guys MU button is markup button and this will help you in discounting so for example uh, the cost price of an item is 700 okay and you want to sell it on 800 so you still make 100 profit 
now you want to attract the customer and you want to give him 20% off and you want to calculate at which price I showed it to the customer so I use this MU button so I press MU and for example you want to give him 20% off okay so then I press 20 okay and then I press this percent so guys here is your final answer so you have to show it to the customer at 1000 and then you will say okay I will give you 20% off so after 20% off the price will be 800 and you still gonna make 100 profit so this is how you can use this mu button the next tip is about this gt button so guys gt means grand total we use this button for long calculations for example 2 multiply by 4 equals 8 okay then 3 multiply by 2 equals 6 then we add 6 multiply by 7 equals 42 now we want to grant total of all these calculation so simply we press this gt button and it will give us the final answer which is 56 so this is how we can use this gt button okay now the next button is this backspace button okay so for example we write any numbers over here and if we want to make any correction we want to remove some number so we just simply use this backspace so you can see it will go back like this okay and then we can write any other number so this is how we can use this backspace button the next tip is about MRC button so guys it is also called memory recall button and we use this button for doing complex math calculation and we use it with M plus and M minus I will show you so for example I will do a calculation 3 multiply by 2 equal 6 and I put it in a memory and I put it in M plus now I move to the next calculation let's say 7 multiply by 4 then I press equal okay and let's say uh, this uh, calculation is in a negative okay so I press M minus okay now let's move to the next calculation let's say 10 divided by 5 okay the answer is 2 and I save it to M plus so I make three different calculation with plus and minus okay now simply what I will do I press this MRC button and it will give me the final answer which is minus 20 so guys this is how you can use this button for doing complex math calculations the next tip is about this C button so guys this C button is for clear okay so if you make any mistake you can use this clear button to make it correct for example I want to add 4123 plus okay I want to add it with uh, 7783 but I want to change this amount okay so what I will do is I just press this clear button okay my previous number which is 4123 still be there and then I can put any other number for example I want to add it with 2134 okay then I press the equal button it will give me the correct answer okay so this is how you can use this C button or clear button the next tip is about repeated addition so how you can do repeated addition on your basic calculator for example I want to do a repeated calculation of 2 plus 2 let's say 2 plus 2 and then what I will do I press this plus button two times okay 1 2 so you can see there is a K symbol available on top over here now I can simply do the repeated addition by just pressing this equal button so you can see 8 12 16 12, 20 24 so you can see it is now doing the repeated addition okay so I can make it continuous okay so you can see 
so this is how you can do the repeated addition the next tip is about repeated multiplication okay so for example i press this 3 and then i press this multiply button two times okay so now you can see k sign available over here and now simply i press this equal button okay and then you can see it start doing the repeated multiplication okay so you can see over here okay so this is how you can uh, do the repeated multiplication the next tip is about how to remove this m sign from your calculator okay so you can see this m sign uh, how to remove it so simply you have to press this mrc button two times and then it will remove this m button so one two okay so you can see m symbol is removed if you press okay so your screen is clear on your calculator uh, so guys this is for today's video i hope you learn in this video so if you learn something please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much